There's a question I received a while back that has been on my mind ever since I first saw it. And it's because when I saw it, I felt really angry. I asked for questions, right? I asked for people to ask me questions. And so it's certainly totally appropriate that I would be asked the question. Um, but also it's been troubling me. So yeah, I, uh, I mixed a nice strong drink and I wanna try to tackle this because it's important. I get really frustrated when people ask questions about whether or not Esme is actually communicating the way that I think she is. Um, and part of it is that I feel like it's frustrating for Esme to have to prove that she understands rather than just, you know, have that be the default that we assume that people understand. But also because I feel like people are missing really basic stuff about who she is if they're thinking only in terms of like, well, can she click a button on an iPad and that's how I know that she understands. You know, it's just so simplistic and it misses the whole point of the complexity of how communication works in general, but especially when you're dealing with a child who is neurologically impaired. And, um, you know, it's just missing what's great about her. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Esme once said the word bubble, clear as day. She's never said it again. Um, and also, you know, so that's a, you know, has to do with tone, the tone of her mouth, her ability to produce sounds. Um, the ability of her to move her hands to manipulate something like an iPad. Um, but also there's a neurological piece to all of this, which is that she is a person who has had hundreds, if not thousands of seizures in her life. And her brain is not always available for communication or for learning. Um, also, I imagine that it's got to be really frustrating and exhausting to constantly be trying to communicate with people who don't understand what you're saying. All of those things are variables that have to be accounted for, um, as is her her personality. Like, I just, like, I'm fed up with this. Like, I don't want to do it. I want to watch the Muppets. Like, Esme uses an iPad. She's used an iPad at school for some time. Um, she uses it to say hello and goodbye and more. But those aren't her most interesting interactions. Like, they're not the most interesting interactions I've had with her. The most interesting interactions I've had with her have been using all kinds of communication all at the same time body language vocalizations word cards pictures you know that's where it's at like that's where you get to who she is as opposed to like can she do a really basic like command and answer kind of a thing which just doesn't tell you anything at all. It just misses the whole point of who she is. She's essentially been tested for reading at this point, you know, tens of to hundreds of words um, with a point in, you know, point and grab. Um, and then she's also read sentences and responded to sort of reading comprehension questions about those sentences using cards. So she reads. And all of that is great and wonderful and I'm pleased that this is a skill that she has but people should not have to prove that they understand for everyone around them to accept that they do. People who need to develop her communication system have to ask the questions. The rest of you don't need to ask them. You need to assume competency. That's it. It's pretty simple. So this is why my hobby is mixing drinks, because <laughs> I get frustrated. I hope this doesn't scare people off from sending me questions, because I do want to answer your questions, even the ones that do piss me off a little bit.